Breaking news at noon. The Big 12 just announced it is moving forward with fall sports. The conference says it assembled a group of doctors and researchers to see if they can safely play this season. And the group determined it is. It's safe. The student athletes in high contact sports like football will be tested for coronavirus three times per week. And if a player tests positive, they will not be able to compete. There's no decisions yet on how many positive COVID tests would force a game to be postponed. Each school will play nine conference games and one non conference game. The commissioner hosted a teleconference today defending the decision. We feel like uh, we're we're fully as well prepared as we can be at this time uh, to move forward. We, we plan to do what we have always done and uh, we've been doing it since April and that is uh, on the advice of doctors. Iowa State kicks off its season September 26th at TCU. The first home game of the season is going to be October 3rd. The Cyclones will host Oklahoma. And Tuesday, the Big Ten announced it's postponing all fall sports to the spring. The Iowa Hawkeyes will need to discuss issues like eligibility, transfers, and spring schedules. The announcement means millions of dollars in potential losses. Uh, there's a huge financial impact. But all, all that being said, let's let's just say the whole thing shut down for an entire year. College sports will come back. You know, they may look different after this time period. I don't think there's any doubt about that. I just I hope, uh, especially for the sake of our student athletes, I hope it's sooner than later, and you know, we can get them back uh, doing what they love to do, which is you know preparing and competing.